Hello there again, it's Dr. Wu and I am listening. Um, I'm wearing the sunglasses because I did one already and I was squinting and I looked like I was frowning all the time. I definitely don't want to frown on you guys right now. <laughs> so I am listening. I am listening and what I am hearing is a lot of anxiety. And I'm here to tell you that that is quite normal because these are anxious times and we're going to, I'm going to give you two strategies today on how to, how to handle the anxiety. All right, excellent, how to manage it. All right, as you know, you know, you know the drill now. Take a deep breath in to the count of three and you can exhale to the count of four. Take a deep breath in through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Take a deep breath in and exhale. And smell the air, what does it smell like? Breathe, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe that in and let it all go. Empty out that lung. Take a deep breath in and breathe it out. Remember, when we do this, we're quieting down our critter brain that is being activated because we are in a, a dangerous situation. So, number one, <clears throat> take a deep breath in and breathe out. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Number one, when you find yourself in the loop of what ifs, that is what is going to be causing the anxiety. What ifs, what ifs, what if this, what if, what if, what only, if only, what if. We're gonna change the what ifs into then what's, then what's. So, and how are we gonna do this? So let's say you're concerned about what if, what if I do get sick? Well. We're going to come up with, you are going to come up with an action plan. You're going to turn that what if, and you're actually going to move it. You're going to move it into, then what? Okay, so let's say I get the sniffles. Then what? And you're going to work on this. You're going to make a decision tree. Then you've got a plan. Uh, let's say it's financial. Well, what if my portfolio goes away, goes, keeps decreasing? Ah. We're going to move it into what then? Find the contingencies, make a decision tree, and come up with a plan. And then once you've had this plan and you're content with it, breathe it in, breathe it out, breathe it in, and breathe it out. Remember, activating your breathing makes your mind clear. We need a clear mind. We need our prefrontal cortex to help us do all this mind management and anxiety management. So after you have done this, You've turned the what ifs into a then what's plan. You are going to put it in a box, a box. And then you're going to be happy with that. Take a deep breath in and edit out and say, yes, I am done. That is wonderful. I don't need to consider this particular issue anymore because I have a plan. I have a plan. Number two, we do have to do movements. Remember yesterday's video was all about movement. There is physical movement I'm trying to do, but I'm also trying to activate our mental movement, our emotional movement. We've got to get that all activated too. So the movement, the movement is what can I do? What is that one little task, little teeny tiny task I need to do? Maybe it is just to get out of bed. Strategize and do it. And once you do it, celebrate. Yay, I am out of bed. Okay, uh, today I had to make one important phone call. So that was on my list. I've done it now. There we go. I had to finish up my classes with Health Coach Institute. I did that. Good. And with each one, celebrate, because then that propels you to go forward. Again, one day at a time, one minute at a time, one hour at a time one morning at a time, one afternoon at a time, one evening at a time. So very, very important. And remember, I am, I hear everyone because this is all related. It's, uh, we're concerned about our health. We're concerned about our finances. We're concerned about our careers. We're concerned about our relationships, our loved ones. And we're also even maybe having a crisis of faith right now. So that's your spiritual life too. So these are all areas. These five areas are, are just um, vitally important because it really does encompass the whole 
person. So again, I am going to address it just again, breathing. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. It calms down the critter brain so that you can have clear thinking, that your immune system will be boosted, your inflammatory response will be decreased, your gut, I haven't even talked about that yet, you'll be able to digest the nutrients that you actually do need because it's all related, all related. And then of course your hormones, it's all connected. We are all connected. We are an amazingly created complex being and we're so individual. What is right for one person is not gonna be right for another person. So again, movement, physical movement, be outdoors if you can. If you can't, cause you're in the city, then please open the window and just smell that fresh air. So very important. If you can go outside and just walk the dog or just go outside and just stand by the door. It's something and breathe in, breathe in that good air, let it out. And remember, yesterday I did yoga. Again, movement, movement. Movement in the body, movement in the mind, and also movement in the spirit. It's all connected. Yoga, I've been doing yoga with Adrian, A-D-R-I-E-N-E. -E. Um, 30 day challenge, true, I love it. Um, you can, it's free on Amazon and um, YouTube. Yoga with Adrian. Um, and then there's so many free websites now for exercise. So if you're into exercise, please do, please avail yourself of that because movement is very important. It's another part of our health. We're trying to boost everybody's health right now because right now we really need it. Um, and then the other one is um, mind management because that is what we're talking about today, anxiety. And Dr. Leaf, that's L-E-A-F, she has a wonderful 30-day mental detox it's so right there, um, just, just Google it or YouTube it, it's all out there. Please sign that up because she goes into, into depth how to manage and control your thoughts so that you can be healthy, you know, be healthy, healthy, healthy thoughts and productive thoughts. Um, and then the other one was meditation. I have to give you that in another time. I found one that is quite um, amazing. Also, again, to calm the critter brain down so that we can optimize our health at this point. And remember, um, you are a leader, whether you're a leader at home or you're a leader at work, uh, you are a leader and you are courageous and you are a warrior and you are, many of us are healers and rescuers. That's who we are. We own it, we own it. Um, and uh, that's what we do. So we're gonna do that for ourselves. We're gonna heal ourselves. Gotta put the oxygen mask on for ourselves first. And then we're going to heal other people. We're going to be compassionate to other people. Um, who around you needs more help? Uh, who around you needs to, this, this kind of care that I'm trying to share with you? Share it with people. Share it, share it, share it. Please leave a comment on uh, what you want me to talk about more. Because um, I am here. I'm Dr. Wu and I'm listening. I am listening. And I'm just trying to share with you all the things that I have. I've had the amazing... Um, honor of, of learning um, through many trials and, and traumas and crisis in my life um, that the Lord has brought me through. So just, um, so I am here. This is Dr. Wu and um, I am listening. We're all going to, all, the other thing is we're going to let go of, of control and make choices. You wanna be the best version of you after this pandemic is over because it will be over. It will come to an end. And who is that future self you want to be? What is the future world we want this to be? Um, that's what we can work on. Remember, fear is an invitation. Crisis is an opportunity. This is our opportunity to grow better ourselves, to grow better relationally as a human race and as the world and to the Lord. This is, this is, this is the pause button, a little reset. And we're going to be stronger. We're going to be better. Uh, when this pandemic is over, but we're gonna help each other out. I'm here helping you out. You helping me out. We're gonna encourage each other. We're gonna lift each other up and we're praying and we're doing what we can. Remember, turn the what ifs into then what's, box it up and do the next thing. Take the next step, take, 
the next step. Take the next step. Just take the next one thing. And one day at a time, one minute at a time. Peace. And I am listening. This is Dr. Wu. I am listening. We are going to be better and stronger and healthier. In the great physician's name. Bye-bye.